It is 10.26 EST, 4 minutes until oil news release. Since early this morning, our bias on oil remained very, very, very bullish. Every single trade I had taken on oil this morning had been bullish. This is our third trade on oil. Price came to 74.73 and as expected, struggling immensely to break through. Four minutes until oil news release, we're expecting minus 1 ME. What oil will do next is crucial. Will it finally find a buying pressure? Serious buying pressure. Take a look on oil daily chart. Oil daily chart at reversal zone 3. Last shorting opportunity on oil had been from 76. 40 area which started yesterday in overnight session. So, buyers had been trying and trying and trying since overnight session. Will they finally pick up this steam and stage powerful bullish formation? That remains the key. Again, we had been long. 74.73 had been reached. At any moment, we are moving stop outside of break even. Let's monitor oil and let's see what happens next. If we have bullish news, it still does not mean much. Price can collapse hundreds of ticks before it stages powerful formation. We know extremely well how unpredictable oil is. Clear? Oil revisiting 74.73 prior to the news release once again. Will it have an opportunity to continue further down? We move the stop to break even. Reversal zone is next, Okay, okay, so let's update our results. Let's update our results so far. So we just took one negative trade on S&P, November 19th, pre-FOMC. A reminder, clear, 19 trades, 15 positive, pre-FOMC have no business being in the markets. Oil, 27. 20 trades positive, 20 came to, 19 came to, decision point 2. Let's see what oil is doing. We are out of oil. Is everybody clear how essential and crucial it is to move your stop at break even? Price was not able to. Let's take a look at the news. Let's see what price is telling us. Very, very bearish news. Extremely bearish news. Yeah, as I spelled out this morning, if you're trading pre-FOMC, shave off 30% from your success rate. Only after FOMC, never prior. Here's trade number 4 on oil this morning another long, despite extremely bearish news. Showtime, here is the rally we've been waiting for entire morning, that confirmed across multiple time frames. Reversal zone is in on oil. Are you clear? Do not ignore that fact, that's where price will test you. If oil is blasting through my reversal zone and 7470, Price reverses into a larger time frame. So, again, if you're not trading S&P this morning on FOMC, you are having a marvelous morning off and you're coming to the markets after FOMC release for very powerful formations. The same formations you are seeing currently on oil. Absolutely crucial and essential to respect these levels. 
It's been excruciating. Why it's excruciating morning on S and P? I can remember because reversal started to weigh pre-market, and every chance buyers had seen, they've been stepping in every single time. Reminding you, if you're trading prior to FOMC release, your success rate is drastically less. So, as expected, oil completely stuck in the reversal zone. Do not ignore this level. Choose a tick. I spelled out to you, this is huge level. Price is finding selling pressure. Buy a tick. How did we know that? Exact same level where S&P started the collapse from yesterday at the market close. Clear? Know your levels, know where to take profits of the table, and do not ever acquire a position into that area. It's that simple. I've gone on to a larger wave expansion. A price blasted through all the reversal levels. Clear? And oil found selling pressure once again. You remember how important this level is on our previous long trade? Correct? Once again, it's a big problem. Next level, 74.97. That's where it's gonna get exciting, baby. Ooh, if price is lasting through there, buckle up. We're migrating into our lay. 75 is monstrous, monstrous level. Then you're gonna see vicious buying pressure because we're migrating into larger time frame. S&P, I just freaking wanna smack upside down. You know what I mean. So that's precisely the reason why I adore, adore, adore and love, love, love oil news days. Review my blog, would you? I constantly trade against oil news. This was bearish news and this was our few hundred tick trade. Remember that? It was bearish news and it was another hundred plus tick trade. Another bearish news. Reversal zone three. You have to be out of your mind to short oil unless you short it from 7640 area. No one should be shorting anywhere near here. Price is telling you look to buy, buy, buy as this is crucial bearish trend exhaustion levels. That's precisely the reason why I love, love, love oil news days. That's precisely the reason I had been only, only, only buying oil. That's precisely the reason why you're witnessing that everything preset in price far in advance. The collapse on oil started on hourly chart since yesterday close. Let me remind you. This was the collapse on oil we took advantage of yesterday. Short started in overnight session. Shorting anywhere near here is such a bad idea. I said monitor 74 and look to buy again. No shorts anywhere near this level. Such a bad idea. But we are not out of the woods yet. Don't forget, we're trading extremely, extremely small chart. 74.97 remains crucial. In order for my trade to migrate into hourly chart, that's a level that must be broken. So lovely, 60 tick rally is reversing as expected. At any moment, I'll be taking short on oil. We're out of oil, lovely long trade against extremely bearish news at any moment. As I spelled out, in order for my trade to migrate to a larger time frame, 74.97 must be broken. 60 ticks later, 74.97 was not broken. Few ticks until my trail. We are out. We are out of oil. You remember, my bias remained extremely bullish. You remember what I said where oil is heading next to 75.72, then 76. 
super duper aggressive traders who've been in this very very torturous trade number five 50 minutes later are at reversal zone finally again if trade needs to break through all of these levels to migrate to a larger time frame clear and do not forget s p started bullish rally that's heading until these levels we're gonna recap that tomorrow morning 2047 next on s p but do not ignore formations in reversal zone so my bias on oil remained once again extremely extremely bullish because i knew what daily chart was telling me and daily chart was telling me only to buy 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 this is the most important day we're seeing on oil in over a month crucial 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 levels and tomorrow morning we're gonna analyze with Alphys because what happens until the close of this morning will determine as we're witnessing potential bullish rally inception but again trading room closing in the next few minutes there is something else needs to happen to confirm that do you know what this level can oil break through this level that will get us out of bearish jail clear this is one step at a time it's a day trading room i do not trade daily chart I do not trade weekly chart. I only know that if you play by the same rules and your account size allows you, the skies are the limit. And that's where S&P is heading next to. 2043.50 is the end of the minor bullish trend. And that's the magic of the price. And that's a picture perfect reminder. If you play by the rules, the skies are the limit and I expect drastically more powerful moves on S&P after FOMC but bullish trend is here with vengeance prior to FOMC and the behavior in reversal zone will determine the power of this rally and what are you seeing on oil oil stock in reversal zone not doing much of anything so this is my trade number 29 on oil as you could see bullish rally on oil continues I have to go teach traders but again let's update our results let's update our results this is my trade number 29 on oil 22 trades positive 22 trades positive 21 trades made it to decision point 2 and 15 trades blasted through reversal zone and trade migrated into a larger time frame and once again reminder S&P continues setting up for very powerful bullish rally as spelled out by the price when trend comes not too far to reversal zone bullish rally is here to stay